accused of tampering with sweepstakes parlor devices appeared in court today. Kadarius Peoples and Damian Parker, these men are facing felony charges for jamming an electronic game, making it so they won more money than they should have. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman is digging deeper into this problem in Bridget. It's one scene nationwide. Yeah, it is. I spoke with experts today who track cases like this across the country so they can figure out how sweepstakes parlors and casinos can protect their technology in the future. Now, in this specific case, police say Kadarius Peoples used a jamming device to get a bigger payout from a game than he should have. His accused accomplice, Damian Parker, was also arrested. This happened at the Grand Riviera in Raleigh. Experts tell me the devices typically transmit an electromagnetic pulse that disrupts the game. It ultimately adds more credits to the machine, and they're usually from different countries. And if the people that are doing the, the jamming are not real greedy and they're kind of moving around between machines, it might not be detected for some time. An ALE agent also told me that these cases can be hard to uh, investigate because some of these parlors themselves are operating illegally. Back to you guys.